Hello, I've been sent a package by one of my subscribers all the way from the US. Uh, I've spoken to him and he said it is a package of electronics, some hobby circuits and some useful tools. Um, but I've got to go and pick it up. Um, he sent it over on a business shipment to a company in Bradford, which is based in Yorkshire. Uh, now I'm round Preston and Bolton Way, which is in Lancashire. So it's just an hour trip over the Pennines to that there, Yorkshire. That was a Yorkshire accent, by the way. So what I've got to do is drive, pick up the parcel, drive back, and then I will open it up with you guys and see what we've got and what we can use. And to save you guys, let's speed this up. Cue time lapse. Okay, I have the parcel. So here it is, the parcel all picked up. Can't wait to find out what's inside. All that's left to do now is to get it home and unbox it and we shall have a look. Interesting today is we've got the back end of I think Hurricane Amelia so it's quite windy uh, during driving uh, and I think we've also got some Saharan dust or some Saharan sand uh, in the sky. The sun is actually looking really uh, blood orange. Uh, it's really unusual so it's given a very uh, orange uh, cast to everything so hopefully the colours on this video will come out and it'll be a bit of a nightmare to colour cast and correct, but never mind. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse of the M62. It's a very pretty motorway uh, going over the Pennines, you get very high. Uh, and to save you guys on the way home, I will also do another time lapse. So, cue ta. Why am I always clicking? Time lapse. <laughs> And we're back, back home, actually back to work. Um, a few days have passed, uh, life tends to get in the way. And now I'm back at work, but I'm wearing the same shirt. Coincidence? Here's the box. Um, very excited, got my coffee. It's very early in the morning at work. This is some free time. Um, Need my coffee. Ah, oh, that's hot. Let's get the box open. Very excited about this. Can't wait to find out what is inside. Use my fake Leathermans. Ooh, how exciting. Can I already see that there's a micro bit in there, which is pretty cool. Always want to play with those. Uh, it's very well packed. Well done, Mr. Subscriber. So, what have we got? A micro bit. Got the instructions. And the micro bits itself. It's a blue one. That is the front. And that is the back. Cool things. I'll definitely use that with my daughter. Help her with her coding. Uh, she's just been awarded the digital ambassador or digital leader at school, which means she's responsible for teaching everyone online safety and computers and all things, all things IT geeky and techy, which is just perfect.
Mai că DSO Shell 501501K. Now we've spoken, uh, me and my subscriber, and he has advised me what's in this box, so it's not a surprise, but it is very exciting finding finding them out. So I believe this should be an oscilloscope. Cool. Exciting. Definitely have a play with this. Um, I've always wanted one. I had one in my Amazon wish list, uh, which you can find in a link in the description below. Um, he said he had no use for it, um, so wanted to send it over. Very exciting. One oscilloscope. And last but not least, a box, which I believe should be full of lots of little bits. Mm. Again, well packaged, thank you very much. If you can see what's in there. We have got a Sonoff Internet of Things wireless switch. Check that it's in there. Yes. So this is a Sonoff Internet of Things uh, Wi-Fi switch running an ESP8266 chip. Um, very hackable. Uh, you can run what I've got. I use Alexa and I fake the uh, Belkin switches and you can just tell Alexa to turn lights on and off. You can group lights, you can turn the entire room and set up on and off. Very cool. Uh, again, he said he had no use for this, so he sent it over. <laughs> USB. I used to have one of these. Yeah, and it extendable USB and it locks. Remember, I completely broke mine. Um, the spring went, yeah, very handy. Like the colour. Okay, now this is a bag of bits, all sorts of bits. Uh -huh. Okay. So I have some instructions. Ah, cool. These are some LED uh, USB lights. Uh, I've got a few of these, these are really handy. They just plug into a USB socket uh, and some LEDs light up. This is a CH340 Wemos uh, USB to serial uh, programming chipboard. This is very handy. Cool, thank you very much. Uh, you'd use this to program uh, things like the ESP8266. Um, it's very handy. Uh, what's this? Yes, he said he was sending this through. This is a jewel thief, uh, which needs some components. It's just the circuit board. Uh, he got it from Osh Park and you get three, you always have to get three circuits in a pack. So he just sent this one because it's a spare one. He didn't send any of the components. Um, so I need to source those, which is fine. Uh, now this, uh, bit of instruction is breakout with voltage regulator, remove resistor R, which equates to all this, which is an ESP8266 and breakout board with a voltage regulator, as per the instructions. Uh, ESP8266 chip, 12F, it has a breakout board. Uh, but what's more important is this little voltage regulator, which he has kindly sellotaped onto the packet. Now this basically gives you a fully set up ESP8266 board with its own power regulator uh, that you can embed on projects. And it doesn't use this CH340 chip, which tends to suck battery power even when not in use. 
Is that it? That's it. How cool. So I'd just like to thank my subscriber for sending all this through. Incredibly welcomed uh, by me. He's gone to a lot of effort uh, to package it all up, to send it over. Um, yeah, just really appreciated. Uh, I spoke to him uh, quite a lot in the past and you know, I've, I've always said, you know, this isn't required. He doesn't have to send all this through. Um, but if people want to send me some free cool tech, I'm all for that. Thank you for the business in Bradford that uh, held the package that it was sent over. Uh, it was hidden in a tube, maybe not hidden, it was all uh, declared on the customs. Uh, but they kept it for me while my uh, babies were born. I was incredibly busy. Can't wait to get stuck into all this and get some projects on the go. Really excited. I've already got an immediate project for this ESP8266 board. Uh, it's a present, so it's a bit of a private thing, but I will show it when it's finished. Uh, very excited about that. Yeah, so really chuffed. Oh, that's good. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please do so, and don't forget to hit that bell uh, so you get notified when I put new videos live. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.